Hey there, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We are so excited to be able to put out this episode for you all about getting your mindset and getting everything ready for next year. We are literally just days away from starting 2022 and we are so excited. I know that we are enjoying some time with our families and friends and we hope you are as well. We also know that you might be taking a road trip and need a little bit of uh, some business knowledge for you to kind of enjoy during your holidays. And so we put this together for you. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, but an extension of this episode is going back to our end of year planning uh, from a couple weeks ago. So grab a notebook if you have one, and we will see you in this episode. All right, let's dive into today's episode all about getting ready for next year. 2022 is so close, and so this is a great episode to listen to. So the first thing that I really want to get us into, and we've been working on this for about a month and getting ready really for next week for 2022 to hit, but the first thing that I want to talk to you about is your mindset, getting one, your mindset, and two, your team's mindset ready for a place for a new year. Now, I know that there's some extra training that may need to happen for this mindset shift, but kind of understanding where your team is at and where you need to supplement your mindset for your team is a really great place to start. So to begin, if you have a team or if you don't have a team, there are a few different areas of your business that you might need a mindset shift or you might need some additional training to get them ready for this. But the few different areas are going to be sales, communication, delivery and pickup, marketing. Gosh, there's so many different areas of of the business, but understanding where the mindset shift is and where the overwhelm and where the frustration might be lying is the first place to start in this mindset um, shifting and training for your team. And so understand that first. And then just take a pulse on what your team is feeling after this year. So 2020 was honestly just a dumpster fire, if we're all being completely honest. Um, And 2021 has just been a year of unknown and back and forth of events. Are they happening or are they not happening? Or when are they happening? Or how big are they happening? How little are they happening? How much time do I have to plan for these events? And there's just been a lot of shifting and um, frustration that has come with 2021. And so just understanding maybe the overwhelm and the frustrations that your team might be feeling is really great to keep in the back of your mind when it comes to any additional training or needs that need to be done um, before you kind of get into this next year or as you shift into this next year. A few weeks ago, we had an episode all about how there's going to be 2.5 million weddings in 2022, which is a lot. And that number is overwhelming already. And it's not even the new year yet. And so understanding that and going back and listening to that episode of how we prepare for that is going to be really great to share with your team because if your team is anything like mine, they're already tired and we haven't even hit 2022 yet. And so understanding this mindset, understanding where they're at after the last couple of years is really, really important. And as the leader of your business is necessary for you to really pour into your team and be there for them. Um, the other thing that if you have not yet done it, please make sure you do it before next year, um, starts or do it as soon as possible in the new year, if you're taking some time off, but having done those end of year planning meetings, like we talked about also a few weeks ago in our episode about really planning for the end of the year, um, appropriately and, and getting ready for this new year. There's a lot of things that need to be discussed and reviewed from this last year. And I remember when we didn't do end of year planning meetings, and then when we did do them, there's a massive difference in how we did business. And of course, our first years of doing our annual planning looked very different than it does this year, um, or even last year or the year before. But going from not talking about it to talking about it and not planning for it versus planning for it, instead of just rolling into the next year, we need to make some shifts and we might need to make some changes just based on what has happened historically in business in the last couple of years. So as you're planning for these end of year meetings, we actually have a template for you to guide this conversation in your end of year planning meetings. And so we've got a link in the profile for you guys to um, grab that for free. It's completely free because I think it's essential and necessary for your business. And you already have a lot of things to pay for. So we're giving it to you for free. Go check it out. 
Um, a couple other things that you need to make sure you are ready for in the new year is your SOPs, which we did talk about this in the end of your planning meeting that you can go back to. Um, but your SOPs is a standard operating procedure. It's essential for your business. It is the step-by-step -step way that you do things in your business. And if you don't have it written down and it's just here in your head, it's going to be really hard to really go back to that and keep every client consistent and to hire a team to be able to do the things that you do without having an SOP. And so we have a bundle for you if you want to check it out. Um, and there's likely, if you even made your SOPs in the last year, they likely have shifted and changed based on just the last couple months of craziness. And so if you haven't updated those in at least a year, if not a couple years, you need to go back and comb through those SOPs and really get an understanding for, are you still doing the same things the way that you were doing them before? Or has things changed because of mass quantity of events again, or the lack there of events from a couple of years ago. And so understanding this and making sure that these are up to date, especially as we go into a really busy next year is really, really important. In fact, I would say it's necessary to go through these and necessary to have them in the first place if you don't already have them. So like I said, we have an SOP bundle for you. A great add-on for that is our email template. And um, those are both gonna set you up for success going into next year. And so we've got a bundle for you to go check that out in. It's in our show notes of this episode. The last thing that you need to make sure is done before the new year. This is kind of like a spark notes on the end of year planning meetings that need to happen back from a couple episodes ago. But these are like the essential things that have to be done before you get into next year. And if you did all these things recently, then you might not have to go back into them. But it's good to remember and remind yourself to do if you haven't. But the last thing you need to remember to do is to update any copy or photos anywhere that you have outward facing of your company. So this could be your website, your social media, and really any other place that you talk about your business outside of internal conversations. And so if you have a bio on a social media channel like Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest or things like that, check out that bio, check out your welcome message on your website, check out your uh, messaging on your contact page, anywhere that you have copy or in other words, words <laughs> on your website or anywhere outward facing of your company, make sure it's one consistent and two aligns what with next year is going to look like. If you envision your company looking a little bit different than it did this last year or becoming stronger of a company, make sure your brand messaging is reflecting that. There's additional places where your brand messaging could be like on The Knot or Wedding Wire, it could be on Party Slate, it could be on a whole bunch of different places. And so understanding and making sure it's all consistent, um, brand consistency throughout all of those channels are really important. So not only the words, but also the photos. Are the photos on your website, are the photos on your social media, are the photos really anywhere you do business, is it reflective of how you envision your company being reciprocated next year? Also meaning next week, because next year is next week. And so make sure that all of that is consistent and um, is, is really streamlined through, because if it's not, you're going to have brand confusion, which if you remember from the sales training episode, this bridge of trust that your clients are having to go through, if it's not consistent, that's already digging a place of trust that they may not trust you right away. Um, and so make sure that your brand messaging, your brand photos, everything representing your company on the outward looking in is reflective of what actually is in your business and what your clients can expect. So there's been a lot that we've talked about today, but there is so much more that you need to go listen to take notes, and actually apply from our end of year planning episode. So I'm going to encourage you to not skip on to something else or go back to the radio or listening to your Spotify, but in fact, go to our show notes and click on the episode from end of year planning and just tag that along to this episode because it's really important if you have not yet listened to that one. And if you haven't listened to that one, or maybe you have, go listen to the training on sales to get you ready for next year and get you in, in the mindset of training for sales. Because right when the new year starts or the first Monday after the new year, it's going to be busy. It's going to be real busy. So 
and get yourself in that mindset. All right, I hope that you have had an incredible holiday season. You're gearing up for New Year's, which is also my birthday, so I'm excited for my birthday coming up. Um, but get excited, get ready for next year, and do all the things that you really need to get done that are necessary for your company going into the new year. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your 2021, and we'll see you in the new year.